insects could become extinct within a century if their rapid rate of decline continues, according to the first global scientific review. A damning study found 41% of all insect species are in decline, and the loss of these animals will trigger a catastrophic collapse in the planet's ecosystems. Scientists at the University of Sydney, revealed the total mass of insects was found to be falling by 2.5% a year and may go extinct within a century. The startling claims rely on no conservation efforts being successful, and the famously durable and adaptable insect phylum failing to adapt to the ongoing natural flux. Insects have long been heralded as the great survivors of the animal kingdom, and it would require an astonishing degree of destruction to eradicate them permanently. Researchers have defended the hyperbolic claims and insist they are not alarmist, saying they are hoping to raise awareness of the ongoing issue facing insect conservation. The findings build on previous claims that Earth has entered its sixth mass extinction, the first since a giant asteroid slammed into modern-day Mexico, and triggered the demise of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. The speed at which insects are dying out is eight times faster than that of mammals, birds and reptiles. Insect numbers were found to be dwindling at an unprecedented rate, and this prompted the researchers to issue a stark warning to the public as part of their scientific conclusions. Writing in the groundbreaking paper, the researchers used an unusually forceful manner to drive the message home. Its condemning tone is against the norm for scientific papers, but was deemed necessary by both the authors of the study, and the editors of the journal in order to bring the global crisis into view. Figures show that 53% of butterfly species have dropped over the past decade, while 46% of bee species are in decline. The worst hit group of all is the caddisfly with 68% of species declining, but dragonflies and beetles have also seen a significant drop of 37% and 49%, respectively. Intensive agriculture was found to be the root cause of the problem, but a host of issues were identified by the researchers as contributing to the insect genocide, such as climate change, urbanization, habitat loss, disease and the introduction of invasive species. Dr. Andrew Bladden, a postdoctoral research associate at the University of Cambridge, told Mail Online that it is unlikely all insects will ever die out, but their numbers will dwindle to such a low their ecological function will be minimal. He said, it is probably very unlikely that you would lose every single insect, but highly likely that if we do not change agricultural practices we will lose the vast majority of species and individuals. An important point to make is that long before the last one died it would be ecologically extinct, and unable to perform their function. They would offer no pollination or pest control services, and be an insufficient food source for many animals. If this was to happen, humanity would be in a poor place. Insects are essential to all ecosystems because of their role in pollinating plants and flowers, and as a food item for other creatures, the researchers say. Any major decline in the amount of insect species will ultimately have a huge impact on humans too. There have been recent reports of heavily declining insect numbers in Puerto Rico and Germany, but the review claims the problem is a worldwide crisis. Writing in the study, the researchers laid out their damning conclusions. It read, the insect trends confirm that the sixth major extinction event is profoundly impacting on life forms on our planet. Unless we change our ways of producing food, insects as a whole will go down the path of extinction in a few decades. The repercussions this will have for the planet's ecosystems are catastrophic to say the least. Francisco Sanchez Bayo was one of the authors of the study, and defended the use of the strongly worded claims, insisting they are not alarmist. Instead, he hopes the review's dire outlook will really wake people up. Francisco Sanchez Bayo, at the University of Sydney. Australia, who wrote the review with Chris Wyke who is at the China Academy of Agricultural Sciences in Beijing, said, if insect species losses cannot be halted, this will have catastrophic consequences for both the planet's ecosystems and for the survival of mankind, 